today's April 24th, 2013. We got a big one today. There's a new Xbox coming. You're watching Speedrun. Microsoft is finally ready to unveil their plans for the next generation Xbox. Microsoft will unveil its next console on May 21st on its Redmond campus. Invites sent to press today mention the next generation of gaming and the hashtag Xbox reveal. Xbox's Larry Herb wrote on his website that the company will continue the conversation at E3, where they will showcase its lineup of titles. The event will be live streamed on Xbox.com, through Xbox Live, and on Spike TV. The unveiling comes just in time for my birthday. Mom, I know you watch these every day. Just saying. If you didn't get a ticket to PAX Prime before they sold out, and you're holding out for a scalper, you might still be out of luck. The ridiculously fast burn through of Prime tickets this year has triggered a re-examination of bulk ticket purchases in order to crack down on scalpers. Polygon has learned that orders including more than four sets of tickets, which is the limit, will be refunded, and those tickets will go on sale at a later date. Big news in Nintendo today, the company is shuffling its top positions and posted its financial results. Pending shareholder approval, current Nintendo of America chairman and CEO Tatsumi Kimishima will become managing director of Nintendo Company Limited, and Satoru Iwata will become CEO of Nintendo America in addition to his role as global president. The shuffle was, according to Nintendo, to allow streamlined decision making and enhance Nintendo's organizational agility in the current competitive environment. The company posted an operating income loss of $366 million, the second year in a row the company has reported a major loss. They also sold 3.45 million Wii U's this year and 3.98 million Wii's. The company's plans for the upcoming year include improving the Wii U's profitability by reducing costs and concentrating on proactively releasing key Nintendo titles for the rest of the year to regain momentum. There's one thing that can turn this boat around, Nintendo, and that's Pokemon Snap Wii U. The latest episode of our Human Angle series is up today, taking a look at Vlambeer and its recent mobile phenomenon, Ridiculous Fishing. Surprisingly relevant feature considering their upcoming game Luft Rousers was cloned as well. Check it out. Vlambeer is basically me and TW, and we argue about everything, and then we make video games. Yeah. That's probably, that's like the short version, right? That's about it. That's about it. Radical fishing is what allowed us to be here right now. That made us our first bit of money. There was this sudden explosion of, of tweets that we normally don't see, and it basically said that somebody had ripped off radical fishing. A lot of games get cloned, and we knew that, but... We certainly didn't think they were going to make so much money. The Ninja Fishing guy sent us an email saying, yeah, we were going to give you credit, but it's going to happen in the next update. We don't want credit. We want you to make a different game. And then the reply was, sorry, we launched Ninja Fishing yesterday. If you're already slavering for the next Call of Duty or XCOM title, they both might be on their way. Promotional materials for Call of Duty Ghosts have been floating around both Target and Tesco, including revealed box art. The game is allegedly a deviation of the Modern Warfare storyline set in the future but with current technology. This comes two months after a video posted to YouTube discussing Ghosts, info for which came from a reliable source in the Call of Duty machine, according to the poster. And 2K Games announced today that its in-development XCOM shooter will be unveiled in the coming days, and that it's undergone some significant tweaking since we last heard from it. It's really great to see more shooters on the market. I can't wait for Kill Space 9 The Deadening. Thanks for watching Speedrun. By the way, if you dig our style, Polygon's been nominated for a People's Choice Webby Award. Head over to bit.ly slash polygonwebbies to vote.